Oh, right, ladies and gents. Uh, I said, no, that's Dave's already got the inners as well. He's having a crew, a little sit down. And, uh, um, Alan's having the old first of his prescribed cookie and he's chewing away there. So, Mrs. Stightwood, I think that's another success. And I'll tell you what, day two, and uh, just keep forgetting there's too much going on to even get your camera out and start thinking about filming those and things. And I generally find that when I come to big events, don't do that too much filming because there's one, there's not much time, and uh, yeah, um, you can film bits and bobs uh, any other time. But anyway, then I'm gonna have a brew, some cookies for lunch. Take care. gentlemen it's a very rare uh, rare beast there the mention call of the Irish teddy bearers dare not wake him because as soon as uh, that species wakes up they will just grab you and bone you so I'm not going to wake the Irish teddy bearers Day. First time I've got my camera out. Uh, the Great Northern Bushcraft Show, or as most people talking it, these are those people that didn't really want to go to the Bushcraft Show for the simple reason is too bloody expensive. You know, Mike with his land it cost him 150 quid. Ridiculous. What a beautiful place. I should have got my camera out when the sun was out. 360 degrees, mountain upon, well, at my age, there are mountains. <laughs> Other people describe them as evil. That's a cracking weather so far, Camp Shaky Boys, I see any, Paul Foxy, um, it, it, um, loads of people here. Uh, right, it's organised by Lenny and the other fella, so I forget his name, the Great North Bushcraft. Uh, cracking little uh, event they've got for us, so thank you very much, really appreciate that, lads. There's a gentleman over there, I can't, just can't remember his name for a sec. Um, and most of the people, um, I think we've got well over 100 people here. Um, I don't really want to walk around with your camera too much because you know some people want to be filmed and some people don't. But um, what a beautiful set! You know, we've got all the toilets and all, everything you need up there and that. Uh, Lenny, look, really nice, really welcome him. You know, he said anybody needs anything, wants anything, come and see me. If I haven't got it, I can't get it. We'll go and nick it. Um, brilliant host. Little chat just so we know what's what. Keep the farmer happy as you do. Absolutely beautiful. Now. Uh, Back in the day, <laughs> see the hills there. You know, I think, right, that's the highest one. See that little thing at the top there? Right, last one up there with a the brew in their hand is a girly. And yeah, but you know, that's to say, back in the day. Beautiful place. Yeah, and the uh, farmer's letters had his field there. I mean, the lads are at Lenny and the lads have arranged it. Five or a night. Can't, ah, oh, it's just awesome, awesome. You've got loads of people there. I might sort of uh, just over there. Well, there's Lenny over there in, in, in uh, early six foot five. Um, loads of people selling bits and bobs, buying, trading, and selling. Um, and literally, you know, I'm going to start poking my hand in people at me, uh, camera in people's faces. But uh, what a cracking little. I've been here a day, I haven't even um, thought to get my camera out. I don't like to. That's too. This ain't. I just like to do this differently, if that makes sense. But here we have uh, the lads. That's my humble abode. There is the Irish teddy bearers there. 
and that's uh, used to be David's. We had a little dibble. I bought that off David. She's um, five years older than me. David with his motor and his bus tent. Ashley yeah, boys. Coffee's done, mate. Oh, cheers, cheers, lads, cheers. And there's uh, I caught the uh, Irish teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, I'm not waking him up because when they wake up, they have a, well, they just want to bone anything. The first thing they see, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> but again, there's a camp shaky crew. I'm not gonna. Uh, what do you mean? We've got well over 100 people here, haven't we? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I would say so now. Yeah. We'll count them 60 odd before everybody come on Saturday. Yeah. They're the same with us, like. There's Mr. Scoop with his fire stills over there. You know, you've got Mike Palmer with his knife. He's been. Well, he's, Mike Palmer's knife's too cheap, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, it's just, you know, he's got some cracking knives there. And, uh, you know, people have got the kit out, and well, I've had a few results. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, because you've sold some of your gear, haven't you? You have yeah, David as well, haven't you? Yeah. All goes to fund more new kit, mate, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, some people, I mean, I've got nothing against the Bushcraft show, apart from it being too expensive. Um, we're going to leave the Monday, which is a bank holiday, en route down. It is, I mean, we're just going to do, like, um, a day ticket and just have a bit of a mince about, see a few people down there, because things like this for me are coming out and meeting the people that I don't get a chance to, with me, people that come down from north and they come up from the south. But yeah, and again, there's Mr. Scooty there, <laughs> the fire still king. Yeah. But anyway, ladies and gents, not everybody wants to be on film, so I'm just going to call this, I don't know how much filming I've got to do, I have to do a bit of filming because my missus are going mental otherwise. But yeah, I know a lot of other people have been doing the filming of all the bits and bobs that have been going on, but I'll just leave that there now and uh, I may or may not bring you back because I'm not going to do a lot of filming here. Take care, ladies and gents. And ladies and gents, here we see uh, Alan King's LC uh, modelling the latest uh, Gorka 4. I like it, it's good, nice colour. Yeah, uh, it just fits in there, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. Robust material. Yeah, brilliant. Reinforcement where you need it. Yeah. And. Uh, it's very comfortable to wear like it's got a lot of give like you know because it's yeah. meant to be the their um oversuit if that makes sense so like a smock I, i've always liked the design of that smock mate if that makes sense yeah. i do i do too fair it's got enough pockets there mate yeah. pockets inside a pocket 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 there nice deep ones there couple on the arms but yeah. uh, bits and bobs in and the kegs I'll, well I'll, yeah. I'll do a quick like video it'll probably be in my garden on that um even that way you know there's a spending it's ever so simple isn't it mate yeah. but um oh, it, yes, it works so yeah, so so I wasn't critical, but yeah, was, and I think that was uh, 58 quid and some change for the jacket and the trousers, yeah, yeah. and I don't think you can, not no, for that money. No, definitely not. The quality, the, yeah. and even underneath, you see underneath your arms, mate. Underneath, the, no, uh, you know, like the elbow pads. Oh yeah. See the front there? It's got a bit of Velcro. Here, yeah, sorry, mate. There. There, so you can pull that up and you can put some uh, roll mat in there. See, it's got uh, a bit of Velcro. Yeah, I see, I got you. Yeah. yeah. And people say, oh, I can't wait to um, see what mods yeah, you do. Russian Gorka. Gorka. Or Gorka, which means mountain, I think. And that was what we used to see their first, um, like, well, I say their specialised force, their mountain troops in Afghanistan wearing. Right. No, it's just, um, I know a lot of the differences in the colour, mate. And it's like yeah, tactical, you know, i.e., if you needed to disappear in the wood, but you can walk about, you could go take, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like wearing army gear, if that makes sense. No, it's unobtrusive, isn't it? No, yeah. Look twice that's a word. That's a big word. Unobtrusive. It's a good word. Word of the day. That yeah. Is. <laughs> like I say, for sixty quid, mate. You know, um, you get a jacket and the trousers. Yeah. And uh, cheap, cheap. Brilliant. All right. And uh, if you can see here, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't done much filming. There's a uh, Paul Fifty One Foxy. He's just done a sort of a bit of a some raffling of the, the one tiger skit. Um, there's a little bit, uh, he did put up a, a thing, um, a demo of their hammock, and it was really honest with you, because there was a few bits needed doing to it, um, you know, and they've said that, you know, what do people think, so I've had a well chat with Paul, that you call me over, and um, I think I can sort of uh, do a Mac type wad sort of uh, mod on that to make it workable, so Paul said, well, and I don't mind, you know, if it was one for him personal, I'd do that, and I'd do it for anybody, but uh, I'd You'll see uh, probably a film of it. Um, I'll just do a little bit of sewing up on that to make it like really workable, or my version of how it will work. 
um, I'll do a video for them, uh, send it back to them, and if they get, I've said, like, if they go with the design, obviously one Tigress is a firm, um, if they just, you know, like the mods that I do on it, uh, then it's fine, I'll have one for three or four, and Paul's gone, oh yeah, bang on, you know, that's, that's fair enough, mate, so that's something um, I'll do, and, you know, I'll kind of do a bit of sign up for anybody that I can when I've got time, but uh, one Tigress is a firm, so if they do go with it, I'll, uh, I'll have one. There's the event shelter. And again, um, I think we, we meant to ask Lenny, um, but um, well over a hundred people here. And just look at, we're surrounded all the way around. Beautiful countryside. And years ago, I'd had my back on my back, picked at the furthest, furthest peak here and gone right, last one up there with the brewing around to Gurley. But yeah, as I say, back in the day. Again, like there's a lot of people had the old uh, kit for sale there. Got a rich uh, Tony Smith over there with the old uh, bug out vehicles crew. Scott from the six blade up the top there. Bought a few nice down, uh, show prices. A few people have uh, had results. But it's probably every type of different type of uh, setup that you can uh, think about here. Yeah. This study broke bushcraft. There's, <laughs> there's um, lo loads of different people. Um, so I think. Oh, I, I've had 40 winks on mine, mate, yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know if it's picking up. There's uh, all the old paragliders at the top there. A beautiful countryside surrounded you know, in the middle of a valley like here's Andy and uh, dog soldier over there very posh up the old uh, Oz tent yeah um, yeah this is like sort of day two since I've been I just uh, well the only uh, reason I just run in and got my camera to be honest because um, um, Martin was having 40 winks in the afternoon and uh, yeah <laughs> He snored like a donkey. <laughs> I mean, proper snore. I caught some of it on camera, I think. But yeah, it's just a beautiful... Very much a brilliant alternative to... Um, well, as I've said before, the bushcraft is getting very, very much more expensive. And Lenny and the crew um, with the farmer, five or a night. Fuck, it's an absolutely top dog. So I'm not um, sticking my camera in people's setups or faces. And up there. Right, yeah, ladies and gents, so I'm not doing any great um, uh, deal of uh, filming. No time, it's not really the place for it. But there's um, Mike's Land Rover that we come down in. And he got a brilliant little uh, the swing around marquee on it. Put loads of mods on it. So, yeah, this is uh, Mike Smith's out. And this is when you put as much of this up, the old awning just swings round, rather like an umbrella. See what I will do, Mike. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, what a glorious morning it is. Here we have the terrible twosome. They led uh, Mike Smith astray last night. Well, about mid-afternoon they thought they'd uh, wander down to uh, find something to eat you know uh, it, what I did later on uh, pizza and so forth pizzas uh, local pizza beautiful gear like uh, sold out so of course they were forced actually bodily forced to go into the local pub the local hostelry and uh, dragging Mike Smith along poor boy and uh, 
obviously they consumed uh, no, it. No, as you said there, mate, a nice meal. I might nip down there for that today. Um, but yeah, I will be in and out, like. Um, and, uh, you know, it was like late afternoon when it went down, bless them. And uh, me and Marty were up there and we thought, well, we'd walk down and get one of them pizzas because uh, they, they were well spoken about and so forth. And uh, we had to come back because uh, they'd sold out. And um, literally we sat here and we sat here and we thought we'd make something to eat. And we did and we had a bit of a laugh. And before we know it, it was like, I was like, bloody hell, it's like 20 to 11. And it started and I went, they're going to be like wankered. Um, and and we, me and Marty rolled up because we thought, there's three of them gone down there surviving this. And he's got one of them with a the torch between them. <laughs> Marty, that was right. when you had a beer, mate, you're a cuddly teddy bear. <laughs> Mike, when you had a beer? <laughs> I hope they woke you up before they left the fire, mate. You had a cracking evening, though, lads, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. There's a big man, Lenny. No, it's terrible. Uh, it's embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, and he's meant to be a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I tell you, it was a classic. It was a classic. They just went out of a few beers in the pub, local economy, got some dosh out of them. And then just while I'm here, mate, you've um, obviously organised and you have a cracking meet up here, mate. I hope this becomes. Um, uh, I hope everybody's enjoyed themselves. I've well, uh, Nobody got naked, apart from Marty. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Um, he can be naked all the time, him. He's a teddy. Just uh, positive feedback, mate, and I don't know, uh, I, I, you know, I don't say what I don't mean, this has been cracking here, mate, lovely location. Spot on, isn't it? It is, mate, yeah. Um, the weather, we've dropped on. And I'll tell you what, three days, 15 quid, you know, bushcraft show, up your bum, you know. Yeah. yeah it's, well, they, they kind of, is it, because of the money, mate, that was be 150 pounds for that, a weekend. Yeah. I'm not going to knock them, you know, we but. To, we tried to work it out on Thursday night. And with the ticket sales alone, uh, it's about ten grand. Well, it's, we it, people that see it. But if stuff you get the buy and stuff, about yeah. fifteen, sixteen grand. Yeah, it's um. I mean, people are just going to vote with their feet, mate, aren't they? Basically. That's I mean, you know, I want to go down there. There's people there I want to meet, want to talk to. Um, I'm going to get like I think most people are just going to pop down there for the day. But that, this sort of decision was made last, on last year's prices as well, mate. And then they went and put them up there. And if you, I don't, gosh, I don't listen to my bit. But if you are, you know, people have just voted with their feet, which we're entitled to do. I'm not knocking them, you know. That's it, mate. But yeah, um, and it's been a cracking time, mate. So you know, I really appreciate that not from a the group. At all, mate. Um, not a and you've got a absolutely. You've been keeping this quiet for my southerners, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want it overflowing. No, no, not with Cockney twats, no. <laughs> but um, no, it really is a cracking. I'll get me uh, camera out a little bit more today, yeah, and uh, just haven't done it. But Marty's packing up. David's packing up because it is a Sunday. Um, I think Paul and that and a few of them um, are either heading off or uh, you know, obviously we're not. We're going to the bus car show, but we're just not paying those stupid camping prices. Um, and we're doing that tomorrow on the bank holiday Monday. That is just been a cracking, um, cracking little, uh, little gathering here today. And Marty just like he's like a lovable, cuddable telly bear when he's had a few beers, and there's a big fella there. Marty, stay. <laughs> we need you, Marty. We need you. Tell you, boys, until the next time. <laughs> Mummy needs you. <laughs> come back, Shin. Come back. What a lovely guy. It is, mate. Yeah, we've been. Well, we're due a good weather, haven't we? Yeah. Um, some, some bug ass, beautiful. I'll just have a moment, boy. As I call it, Emmerdale country down here, mate. Well, it just puts me in mind of like, you know. Is, uh, I mean the guys from up north they know the school. Um we never had a few beers like there's uh, plenty of uh, local talent in the field. <laughs> no, there's lots like, of uh, little baby lambs in there. I'm not gonna shout that mint sauce but there you go. I'm only just showing you one side. Uh, like I say there's well over 100 people there. It's not some sort of, sort of big protest, organised protest or anything like that. Um, just people, I think the bush car show, um, shot themselves in the foot with just putting them prices up to be honest. We don't need to pay that money. 
So I want to go to the bush car show, see people and have a, a mooch about, see what they've got for sale. Um, but uh, yeah, it really is nice to see like dogs. Load of people um, obviously on, on sort of YouTube and so forth and Facebook been chatting to and got the chance to meet them in real life now, have a little bit of a chin mag and so forth. Um, it's been really cracking fantastic. Just not the time to do, uh, or, or the inclination to be honest, to do a lot of filming. But I said I'd film a bit so Mrs. Tightwood could see what was was all like. like. But anyway, ladies and gents, on that, I need to get a, another brew down my neck. Take care. Countryside. My wife, um, said, oh, was it like down there? I said, just think em Emma down on that. And, uh, you know, Amos Brearley, Mr. Wilkes, and he's And they're not that far wrong. Some lovely peaks up here. And, uh, you know, years ago I'd have uh, run up everyone, and last one up at the top with a brew in their hands uh, is, a, is a girly. But, you know, I'd have done all, well, just done them just because they're there. But, like I said, years ago. <laughs> I ticked up the boxes and that, but it's beautiful here. Absolutely, you, you northern guys have been keeping this one quiet, haven't you? So you don't get a cockney invasion. <laughs> and again, I'm not swinging, you know, there's some people, it's Sunday night and some people have um, packed up and gone to the bushcraft show, but like David and um, Marty, they come down on the Thursday, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, three days and that. Yeah. And we're gonna uh, go down there and uh, tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Granddad, we love you. Granddad, we do. He can we when he sees this. <laughs> yeah, just um, popping down the old village now to uh, partake of the local hostelry. Innkeeper, two pints of your finest beer please and make merry with the uh, busty winches. What a beautiful place. I don't know what I said like me. So oh, what's it like? like I said I just uh, think Emmerdale, you're not far wrong. Cracking little place laying in there and his little crew I found here. Beautiful. 15 quid, absolutely, come and stay in a place like this, good company, amazing. Beautiful river down there, can't really see it from here. Where uh, Air Moss Brearley and Mr. Wilkes live. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Like the bluebells, everything. I've got a look running water down here, lovely. Quite right, soon. Kids coming up there, so I don't catch the other people's kids on me cam.
is the local village. Look at these. They're just houses like this are just not built no more. That cracking, lovely little bridge. Mr. Right, we'd love that. We've been there all the time. Beautiful, big old tree gone down there. Beautiful village. Oh yeah, Marty and uh, Marty have come ahead of me. Stopped to do a bit of filming. The pizza place, stone baked pizza, don't open until four o'clock, so I'm not sure where they are. I'm just gonna go and check the legal pub. <laughs> Bring you back later on, ladies and gents. And ladies and gentlemen, there is the, the now infamous and famous Nags Head. A beautiful little um, little boozer in there. And uh, I'll tell you what, that, that burger gets a mention in dispatches, doesn't it? Ah, uh, so it was pucker. Um, slightly weird, I'm th I think they they were pre-warned that we were coming, because um, it came on a piece of wood, yeah. The, the plate was, I've had some scoff, some posh scoff, right? Hello, whatever, on a, on a, a warm uh, slate before now, but I've never had me scoff off a, a wooden, a piece of wood. I took a picture because you're not going to believe me, so I'll try and insert it now. But that was some serious, very reasonably priced and a cracking bit of a uh, bit of grub, that. I'll tell you what, it probably is nice and that as well, and for the lads that have, um, Benny and the crew that have, um, the big old beer garden well filled areas, um, I think everybody's popped down for the, the local village as such and uh, you know, spent a few bob, put some money in the local economy and that's all good because we've all been well behaved as we, you would expect so they'll be like more inclined to say yes next time but the scenery is just um, unreal, unbelievable oh I did do Mike, Mike Smith a favour, you know, you know, we, you know I have a little bit of laugh and I, I, kept, you know, I kept saying in the pub like I expect Zach Dingle to come in at the moment, like or Mr. Wilkes or something. He said, "Hey, you do us a favour." I said, "What's this? A shark?" I said, "What's going on?" He said, "We're in Derbyshire, not Yorkshire." I said, "Ah, come on, mate. I'm a Cockney. Anything north of Clacton, mate, is um, you know, in the country, lad." And he said, "Yeah, but like the locals were getting funny looks, like and, you know, I want to get back to the uh, tented here before they fill us all in, like you know, give us a hoofing and that." <laughs> so, uh, gonna go back now and. Uh, a little bit of uh, admin, um, get the tent down when it's dry and uh, sleep in my bib bed tonight and uh, just do an early call on the, uh, to get over to the uh, bush bar show. What a beautiful place. I think you northern lads, you've been keeping this secret from all those uh, <laughs> soft, southern softies, haven't you lads? Look at that. And then his kids about so I'm turning the camera. Anyway, what take care everybody. Oh, uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen. It's the uh, last day here. It's the bank holiday Monday. We have had a cracking time. Absolutely brilliant. The uh, talking to Mike Palmer and, and uh, the knife makers, the lads there, just have done a nice little bit of business. Sold a lot more knives than they thought. And uh, yeah, quite ha frankly, I'm not surprised because they the gear they got slowly. I think Scott bought some, Wessex Blades bought some knives down and uh, yeah, sort of got mugged, it's easy as well to say that. Um, and uh, I think most people are packing up now, one because it is the last day and uh, like guys, I'm not going to cut my nose off to spite my face, I'm going to go and do a cheap day ticket to the Bushcraft Show. It being the last day, I shall say to the, uh, you know, my main Haggling point was, oh right, oh you're not going to do a discount then, alright fair enough, what, you, you just want to take everything home with you do you? Alright no problem, no worries. Um, so it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, we're going to pack up very quickly, 
just having a brewing bush car cookies and jumping old fateful with Mike Smith and uh, head off to the book. I am mate, yeah. <laughs> You're not any goodies, are you? <laughs> there we go. Mike Smith's the boat. Very comfortable in there, Mark, aren't you? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I'm get used to this. That was uh, my. Me and uh, David Fairs had a, what we now can officially know a, a dibble and haggle and uh, you know obviously I have to haggle with David Fairs otherwise he won't respect me and uh, we come to an agreement on that tent he was happy, I was happy, it's like a TARDIS inside and Martin was in his fishing bivvy and I love that camouflage on that. If that goes missing one time that will just be turning, I'll turn that into a tarp. <laughs> that make a nice tarp wouldn't it mate? No, no I'm sorry. Oh I didn't see you in there Martin the big fella, you right? You're not, you're not, not in your skiddies are you? No. <laughs> No, uh, I'm just going to get a brew on. He's like Mike Smith's all posh like now. He's uh, not got his brew on. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good, I've good job. I've had mine even yeah. in a yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, look, that's just posh, mate, isn't it? Um, really nicely decked out now, mate, isn't it? Oh, it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more to do yet, but yeah. it's getting there. I think you'll always be able to improve, 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 like, yeah. right, mate. But, yeah, your passion wagon's looking like really nice, mate. Have you named her? Do you, do you have a name? Yeah, it's called Maggie. Maggie. Oh, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. They have taken her away and she won't walk down the street. Any. Been on the piss with a few scouts in my time, mate. Was <laughs> <laughs> he talking about karaoke earlier? <laughs> no, mate, no. When I do do karaoke, which is rare, I do get a lot of lager. And most of it's over me, yeah. But, um, probably, somebody told me you'd have broken glass. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, cracking to the lads that organise it, Lenny and... and, and Great North Bush Golf crew, absolutely fantastic mate, this was really well attended and uh, put together lads and uh, I, w I would say this is going to be at least double next year when people find out what's what and see the videos and that, but yeah, we had some cracking weather and look at this, it's like really well spooky if that makes sense, uh, all the mist is coming down and this is like stay on the path country, but yeah, really nice. The sun was just there, but uh, now it's been encompassed by the mist. But yeah, had a terrific time here. I'll tell you what, it's been so laid back and it's always horizontal, mate, isn't it? It's been cracking. And these are by, uh, you know, a long mile. Most of the people I would come down, down to Bushcraft um, thing and see, like, you know, cracking. Anyway, ladies and gents, before I bubble on for too much, I don't think I've done much for him, I can't remember, to be honest. Um, on a crack, uh, we're going to have a bro, have a ciggy, a cookie, and then get into uh, crack down mode. May or may not do some filming at Bush Gosh, I, I do not know, but take care, everybody. Add to the lads, Lenny and all that, cracking, cracking do, lads. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gents. Uh, we've uh, now at the Bush Gosh on a day ticket. 15 quid to get in, that's not too bad. Oh, that was very good, I will say that, 15 quid for a day. Oh! <laughs> but uh, yeah, the old military mark, burying myself in there. Some nice little bits of kit in there. And uh, Bush Gas Hall, they got some very, uh, oh, the old uh, Ridgeline stuff's going well cheap there. Very reasonable, gentleman's there with a hat on there, very nice man. Haggle as well, that's what we all like. There's all the stores, there's uh, loads of them. That's the sort of thing There's loads of demos going on, and uh, all the stores there. Yeah. Um, some, well, it's the last day, so they have got a few discount signs up, so that's always good. Good for the troops. And there's some well known YouTube faces here. Most of them come down for me now. <laughs> Suits you, Mike. I seen Land Rover Green as well. Sorry, <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was a uh, bush castle and there's a uh, 
Very nice prices there, I must admit. Top end Falkenhaven gear and all that, 511s and uh, Ridgeline, uh, well it says, for sale. And the gentleman, obviously, knows the value of haggling. That means there's probably people going to buy stuff on. Love it. Some really nice demos, just ain't got the time to. <laughs> and there he is, military man. Oh, it's like porn, isn't it, for me? <laughs> <laughs> I will never dibble in there. Yeah, no time for filming, ladies and gents. Got to get in these stores. Look at that one there. That's got some cracking kit in it. Some really good prices. And uh, I must admit, yeah, it's probably because it's the last day, but there's uh, a lot of for sale stickers up. When well, you think you'd be at Crufts, but... Um, yeah, yeah, up. Some popular characters and so forth. But yeah, no matter what you wanted, it would be here. Honey, come in. You can't turn the deal on. There they are. Now from a full-filled kitchen to a, you know, nine spoon. A cracking deal on the pair of, like, I think they're Aust Austrian trousers, brand new. Two quid each, I thought I'd have two pairs. Even though I only end up using the material. I'm going to make a nice set of kegs out of one of them for two quid. That bit. Not so much for that, some very reasonable prices here. It's been nice weather down here, which is nice because these people pay a lot of money for these stalls and uh, they want to just take a few bob, don't they? Nothing wrong with that. People earn money. Oh, <laughs> there's a big clam there, look. <laughs> you meet some strange characters. <laughs> Well anyway, um, I'm going to dive back in any case I've missed it many times, so see you later on, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, just meeting so many different people, um, got some terrific little bargains, uh, so, uh, Ronnie Sunshines, some very nice sales, especially now they're packing up, <laughs> but yeah, oh, got some trousers and some webbing and all sorts of stuff. I ain't gonna film too much these kids there. But what a nice day. Mike Smith got to drag him away from the Land Rover stall. You know, all the bits you add on to your Land Rover. <laughs> He's like, well, I suppose he, like, most of the thing else had a bit of a bone on But yeah, the guy that run it was really knowledgeable. And uh, yeah, well, everybody has been here. It's been absolutely fantastic, I must admit. Brilliant, just enough time to get round this for a day. So loving this. Not sure I'm gonna do any more filming because um, must admit, I'll be perfectly honest, I'll get it on time. Loads of people will go, oh, mate, I'll watch your And uh, I've, I've been, like, taken aback by that, humbled by that. So, you know, um, thank you very much. I really do appreciate your sort of the kind words. Uh, and I wish I'd had a penny for everybody that stopped me and said, um, what's that jacket and kegs you're wearing now? I have to go through the Gorka speech. I'll do a review on it, um, just so everybody knows. But, uh, no, nah, nice one. Um, Yep, spot on. E down. Three days. And this on the way home. Definitely doing that next year. And uh, as I said, I, uh, I think before, Benny and Drew and all that, absolutely fantastic hopes and loved, loved it up there. But, right, ladies and gents, there's too many nippers there. I don't like catching other people's kids on weekend. But uh, if I don't do any more food, then uh, thank you very much for, for watching and. Uh, I've had an absolutely fantastic top in 10 out of 10 weekend. And as always, uh, always appreciate you watching my films. Thanks a lot, ladies and gents.